Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Man, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's time again for another knife. No, it's not time for a knife of the day. It's time for a pocket dump deconstruction. It, it, it It's so strange. You know, I did pocket dump deconstructions. It was my first daily kind of vlog format and I did it for like a year and a half every day and back then I even did Saturdays and Sundays I believe and then I did the knife of the day which went for a year as I went through my collection and now I'm still doing knives of the day because we get the new Spyticles as soon as they come out because I'm one of the Spyticle I'm in the Spyticle Collectors Club man I'm hoping those other knives come soon uh, hopefully by the end of this week we'll do two days of new knives from Spydeco. But we're also doing my daily pocket dump. And this is one of them. It is Wednesday, hump day, August 15, 2018. You know, at, at 59 I've been going really crazy these days. Uh, on Instagram, instead of going, you know, strive for what you want. Your, goal, your work goals are just, you know, within your reach, all that. I've been doing, you know, the alternate, the alternate stuff, which if my friends knew it were me, they would be bumped, they would be freaked out because I've always been the career, career guy. Today I posted, oh, Wednesday, I'm halfway to reaching my goals. The weekend. <laughs> Tag watch. For this Wednesday, August 15th, 18th, right? No, August, what is it? August 15th, <laughs> sorry about that. August 15th, Wednesday, 2018. I know a lot of you are watching in the future, but I like to give the date of when I'm doing my uh, carry. That's my tag watch. Man. Oh, I love the Trinidad. I have a number of Trinidads in my humidor, one of my humidors that have the big size Trinidads. And I have a couple of really old, like 10 year old Trinidads. But this is a nice smoke. The Trinidad Cuban cigar, these small, nice smoke cigars. Ah, can't wait to get a handle on this. A handle on it. Can't wait to get a light on it. A clip and a light on it. The uh, Shown Design pin, the titanium. The coin today, I know, I have to, I have to, I've been running around going, which coin am I going to throw in my pocket? I need to start going through that collection more. But I love my unicorn, my unicorn coins. This is 1997 Chinese unicorn coin. There are four different coins. I have all four of them. Um, they also come in half ounce, but this is the one ounce. I love that. Whoops. One of my thin Coach wallets. Ah, uh, yes. I was crazy about Coach back in the day. And the good news is, nothing's better than a worn coach. You know what? Nothing's better than any leather that's worn. <laughs> Gets all nice and soft and everything. Good leather. I just love it. Talking about good leather, I like the leather around this. Today, <laughs> it's something I have not drank in a while, and that's rum. Yeah. You know you're going to smoke a cigar when you put rum. <laughs> in your pocket all right dark rum too i like dark rum um no it's not super expensive and all of that but i like it you know what i always get a kick out of i haven't been in a while i need to get on an island <laughs> i used to go to the bahamas last minute when i was consulting to do some gambling and just chill and have a great time and I love when you get on an island, not just the Bahamas, but wherever, and rum is so cheap. And, and you know, I love rum and Coke, 
But I used to go on uh, vacation on the islands, especially the islands that had casinos on them. And rum was so cheap, the Coke is the thing that cost so much money. <laughs> Relative. It wasn't super expensive. So I started drinking these just good rums without the Coke or anything and just loving it. Uh, reminded me when I was going to college, I graduated from Ohio University. I'm originally from Youngstown, Ohio. Go Browns! <laughs> um, anyway, uh, you know, in college, now then you could drink at 18. Now it's 21. But Ohio University, a lot of drinking. And uh, that's where I learned how to drink, if you need to learn. Um but I love it because we didn't have enough money. You know, it was between getting a little bit more alcohol from the state store, you know, uh, rum or vodka. That was about pretty much all we would get. And then we would either get the orange juice or the Coke or we could get more alcohol. <laughs> and so in college, I learned that I could drink anything on the rocks with a little bit of water. Yeah, we saved the money. <laughs> yeah, that's what a college education taught me. Save your money for more booze and less mix. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> those were the young days. The old days, I make sure I drink this first and rest <laughs> before I drink more. Anyway, field notes. I really, as you guys know, I love my ladybugs and man bugs. This man bug, Spyderco man bug, I really like. Yeah, it has a heft to it because it has stainless steel liners and a bolster. Gray G10, VG10 uh, steel, and of course that full flat ground. I use it as a, on my knife, I mean on my keychain. I only carry a silver loop with three keys on it, so I always have a keychain. By the way, only one ounce, almost 1.1 ounce. Obviously, it's a little heavier than what you usually see, which are the FRN lightweight versions. 1.9 inches, um, 4.5 inches total as far as the total size of it. Real strong backlock too. I know a lot of people don't like backlocks because they don't like, you know, it's a little bit more difficult with a one hand than a lot of other things, but nice sturdy backlock from Spyderco. Here's one of the newer knives. At least we finally, <laughs> here's the funny thing. One of the newer knives released this year from Spyderco actually was a knife that was really late in being released. And then it wasn't what we thought it would be once it was released. Uh, by the way, this weighs 2.5 ounces. I don't know if I said that about the man bug. Um, this is finally the Spyderco Rhino. We've been waiting for the Spyderco Rhino. Now, at first, when it was first introduced, the Rhino was going to have black G10 scales. It was going to be super cheap. I remember seeing on some of the Spyderco forums, people saying, I might get three of those. I like that little rhino shape and everything. Spyderco must have had some issues because they came out with something that was really jazzed up a lot more than what we expected. It was going to be inexpensive steel. I don't know if it was VG10 or something else. Well, they upgraded the steel to CTS XHP steel. I like this little knife. Peel ply carbon fiber, so you get a little grip on it. Of course, compression lock. It was gonna I think it was gonna be a compression lock regardless, but I really like this little knife. Um just a nice real small knife. The blade is 2.4 inches. Only 5.9 inches total. By the way, I screwed up. This is only 1.5 ounces 
or you know 1.05 ounces just under 1.1 ounces which is what i told you then later i said it was 2.5 ounces sorry this is 2.5 ounces it's a nice light knife it is a smaller knife but I, you know i like that no jimping i love that rhino blade just a real nice blade i also like the compression lock of course a lot of us love that coming from the para 2 and i mean the para military 2 and the para 3 the clip i wish it was the wire clip i'm i know you guys are tired of me saying that but it's true this is a real small knife where i put that big hunk of hunk of clip on it left hand right hand tip down on uh, i'm sorry tip up only tip up only which i like just a real nice package so yeah still a smaller carry i go from carrying three knives and some big knives to two smaller knives someone asked why do you carry so many knives well one is a keychain knife i have barely given a minimal amount on my keychain that's barely noticeable gets the most use though and the other is for real cutting if i ever need it i'm an office guy i'm an urban office guy i don't cut much mostly the keychain knife does the do but i have a lot of people to ask what knives am i carrying but this is the rhino i mean in real life but that's a real nice rhino i like this as a light carry i really like it i almost carried this um Jason Browse has been selling his um, import line. You can get a lot of his wonderful designs like the Silent Soldier Flipper. This is one of them for like under $100. I don't know if it's China. I think it's China. Um, and so you should try that out if you've ever wanted to try a, brace, uh, a Jason Browse knife. My knives, I found them early and really love his stuff. I have every silent soldier known to man. Uh, I love his mid text. These, <laughs> you know, usually a silent soldier, he has a fixed blade when a small fixed, I don't know, let me see. Let me see if I can find one somewhere. Uh, here's one with a different shape. Let's make sure I don't cut myself. Anyway, they have one this shape too. But this is really what got him started as a silent soldier. You put your finger through the hole. People can't take it away from you, etc. Then he went to flippers where you would have the hole in the um, blade as well. So you put your finger through the hole. I have them all <laughs> from his first one to his last. Most of his um, mid techs are limited these though what i'd love to do is get something that you know the shape you know the design but it's the opposite design by the same maker he came out with only a hundred one hundred only of the silent soldier flippers without the hole in it and i love it first they were so hard to find and every time i found them i, I had to have them i have three of them a blacked out version, this acid stonewash version, which I love, and a stainless steel version. So three out of the hundred are in my case. But doesn't this stainless steel look great? Flips like a dream. Looks unbelievable with that Warncliffe blade. D2 steel. Nice jimping. I mean, this is what made him known. Um... Uh, I just, uh, only a hundred of them in the world too. Hard to find. I was so happy to find three of them. That's one of those, if you're a collector, you just get obsessed. I was obsessed trying to track these down once I found out they even existed. Frame lock, full tie, body, D2 steel, deep carry clip. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> right hand deep carry clip of course the frame lock all of these um silent soldier flippers are push button they fly out push button 
they feel great in the hand i love how that blade is oh listen to me <laughs> this is love right here i love all three of them um man oh man oh man just love it browse blade on the back spacer just a wonderful knife um like i said d2 steel the blade is 2.5 inches four point about 4.8 ounces or you know close to five ounces because it's all titanium you can see the number this is number 41 of 100 just a real nice knife i played with it all day so i figured i needed to use that as the knife that got away there you have it that's the pocket dump deconstruction it's as always great to talk to you guys you have a perfect day don't forget to thumb this up. Let me know to keep going. Uh, thumb it up. Subscribe. And turn that. Once you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you know when I'm doing something special. And I promise you, man, I, I have been out of energy. I don't know if because of the weather or what. Uh, but we'll do something special over the weekends instead of me just lying around doing absolutely nothing. Um... But uh, subscribe. I'd love for you. That just helps me out. I really appreciate each and every one of you. You guys just have a good day. Hey, if you're having a bad time, I, I, you know, you don't have. To, what can I say? Everyone gets depressed now and then. Mild depression. And I know some people have super depression. Some people aren't depressed at all. They're just lonely. Just alone. You know, sometimes. Uh, for some people, the world is just very easy. For others, it's not. And I, I get it. I really do. Um, just remember, I know I'm just an internet guy that talks about knives and stuff. Cigars and that kind of thing. But um, the good thing about social media, there's a lot of bad about it. The good thing is we're all here as a community, even if you don't know us. So... Uh, just take good care of yourselves. Um, you have a good one, all right? Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.